Given how useful glucose molecules can be for cells in the, in, in the sense of being able to provide a lot of energy, um, cells like to hold on to glucose. If they find some extra glucose, they like to store it for use later on. And this is something that a lot of different tissues throughout the body can do. They can take up glucose from the bloodstream and then store it in the form of glycogen. And that process of producing glycogen is called glycogenesis. And that's formation of, glu of um, glycogen from glucose molecules. So that's how glucose can be stored. Once it is taken up from the bloodstream inside of cells, then it gets modified a little bit. It gets a phosphate group attached to it. And that's kind of an interesting thing because once that phosphate group is attached, this prevents this molecule from being able to leave the cell generally. Okay, so it kind of traps the glucose inside of the cell. That glucose 6 phosphate can be converted into the form of glycogen, so that's the stored form, right, of glucose. And then if the cell finds that it needs some energy, then it can break down that glycogen. It can, it can reform glucose 6 phosphate molecules, which can enter into the glycolysis pathway, just like we learned about. So um, the special thing here with regards to the liver, we mentioned the liver at the beginning of this module. The liver is capable of donating gluco glucose molecules back into the bloodstream. And the reason that the liver can do that is because the liver has a special enzyme. It has an enzyme that's capable of removing this phosphate molecule, um, so this phosphate group, so that glucose, just glucose, is free to leave the cell of the liver and head out into the bloodstream. So that's something that pretty much only the liver is capable of doing. Other cells, once they have glucose 6-phosphate, they're just kind of stuck with it. They, they store it in the form of glycogen. So let's try and get the bigger picture for this a little bit better. Uh, we've got a lot of different cells and tissues that require energy. Um, skeletal muscles in particular use a lot of energy. So what we're going to do is talk about skeletal muscles just as an example of cells that, that use glucose. Okay, um, so maybe you have a, cell, a skeletal cell that has some stored glycogen inside of it. And maybe that cell starts to starts to be active. Maybe we're exercising. So if we are exercising, what will happen is the glycogen stores will get broken down um, into glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 6-phosphate can enter the glycolysis pathway to produce pyruvic acid. And then remember, if we're talking about a muscle cell, there's a chance that this muscle cell is going to run out of oxygen. So in that case, Pyruvic acid would get converted to lactic acid. We saw that earlier in fermentation. Lactic acid is something that can diffuse out into the bloodstream. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna go into circulation. The liver is the organ that deals with that buildup of lactic acid. Okay, so the liver is able to take up lactic acid. It can actually convert it back the other direction. It can convert lactic acid to pyruvic acid. And then pyruvic acid can be converted to glucose 6-phosphate. And you guessed it, glucose 6-phosphate can be converted into glycogen. So the liver does this amazing thing. It takes the waste product, the buildup of lactic acid um, from, from anaerobic respiration, right? Takes that waste product and stores it in the form of glycogen. So this is really amazing. This kind of completes a cycle. The liver can then, uh, remember it, the liver is capable of breaking down glycogen into glucose 6-phosphate, can convert it into glucose, which can be donated back into the bloodstream, and that can be used to power all sorts of things throughout the body, including that same skeletal muscle. So this is a big cycle that happens in the body. This is called the Cori cycle. This is kind of, um, kind of, essentially this is saying what happens when cells run out of oxygen, okay, they make lactic acid, and then how does the body deal with that buildup of lactic acid? Okay, the liver takes care of that job.